hovering the Hecarim and the... And teams love to play Hecarim into Victor for that big team fight. Engage Victor. Can't really do anything about a home guarding Hecarim chasing him down, especially if he doesn't have Flash. Uh, not really the best engaged champion, but Ooh. Smeb in a bit of trouble right now. Has to double back as he's trying to avoid the Unburrow, but there is going to be first blood as Smeb flashes. Don't think you need to flash. Whoa, Whoa. there he comes in, barely out of range of Wisdom. Well, wisdom, is he going to pay? No. No. There's no Flash. He has his Flash available, so. Dive coming in. Wisdom is here. He is not seen, and he's just going to get right back in behind Kube. Going to use the Onslaught oh, of Shadows, but that's close. not going to be enough. Wisdom gets in there with the Flash. This dragon, and now moves back into the mid lane to keep farming yeah. with that Flash down. Uh, uh, here we go, Wisdom's here, there we go. Knock up hits the jungler from Samsung, but now they're going to keep on going. There's an explosive cast, stun onto Wraith, but at the end, no one dies. QV decides, oh, Eve. Oh, no, he dies. I lied. <laughs> I'm a liar, Barry. Even though Corky hasn't maybe hit his Trinity Force power spike yet. Back, Prey Seeker collides with Smeb from the side. There's a disengage on the explosive cast, oh. and there's just a flash over the wall from Wraith. Everyone having to flash, and the Equalizer gets dumped to make sure they get out of range. I don't know about that. There are no ultimates. But Kuro's on his way up from mid lane. They have to, it's a 3v4. All right, Smeb coming in. Smeb gets chucked out very low early on. Oh. There's the Death Ray finish onto Fury. Nothing. Well, Ku should not be allowed to do this. Yeah. They should not be allowed to defend two sides of the map at the same time. That is a lack of decisiveness from Samsung. Going over to the Ku Tigers, but one big team fight can change all this, and Kuve goes into on Smeb, uses the ultimate. And here we go. Eve gets the knockup. There's the equalizer drop before he dies, but again, Wisdom just a hair too late. They want to get onto Kuve. Oh, Home dear. guard and Kuve getting roasted. There's the second shot from the Harpoon, and that's going to be enough just to keep Kube there. Kube overextends and will die to a counter teleport play. It's a 1k health, and it is taken by Gragas. They're going to try and disengage. You see the Brommel and the Gragas ult coming in, but there is a turnaround. Smeb comes in from behind with the Zonios, but it only makes him die. Comes that right in the pit. Ooh. Samsung could be in really a lot of trouble. So oh, more poke coming in. They're gonna come in with the Onslaught of Shadows. The Gorilla already in the front line. There's the Chaos Orb just sweeping over Ooh. everyone. And that is the right sound effect for that fight. <laughs> Samsung just falling apart 100% right now. Well, their mental was broken. Not the best place uh -oh, to keep uh -oh. in, but the so flank is coming in. It's not going to hit anything Ooh. right there. Denied. And there's the ult on the rest of the team. Oh, a huge equalizer. Going to zone everybody out. Dragon was not taken by Samsung during the scuffle. And that means that Ku has this one on lockdown. They've taken no damage. Ku also used all their ultimates except for the Chaos Storm, but they get this dragon. And Samsung forced to retreat back to their base yeah. with yeah. the amount of damage it does. Okay, they're pushing up. It's Prey out of position. There's a good onslaught of shadows on Akuro. He has a flashback, but here we go. There's a gravity field laid down right in the choke point. The lighting is great, and there's the Chaos Storm laid down. Finally, Smep gets here with the Equalizer, and Samsung committing in this choke really didn't work out for them. Yeah. And on top of them in a heartbeat, they can do they're going to get the Baron, and what else? TP coming oh, in. No. Does he know he's there? And, and he's going to get caught. Some people are going to die here from Samsung. Crown oh. is going to get taken oh. out by a rocket. Eve goes in, but the flash is there for Smeb as he hits over the wall. Wisdom looking for another kill. Double kill for Prey. So the Baron goes over to Samsung. They're running right now. They have position in two chokes, so are they going to go for it? And they are on fire. That's right. Eve just going to get tied up here by the Brom. Destroyed. Stacks and he goes down. Have a naked inhibitor in this game. Gorilla, yeah. your unbreakable does not block our turret shots. But it blocks whatever else might have been coming his way. Very. Well, surprise he has Eve oh. coming in. There we go. There's a flash knockup. They're going to find themselves. Oh, oh. Great, great guys. And they have an amazing flank with Kuve into the back line. And Smeb now coming in. Gorilla extremely low. But that's already two kills amazing. for Samsung. Now, honestly, they're no, going to try and we get have both. We have Kuve and Eve trying to contest this. 
Will oh, they be able like, to? This is maybe a game-changing smite right here. Uh, uh, Kuro's coming back. I think he gets it. it! He gets it, Kube! And Eve successfully steal the dragon. They're but gonna can die. can they run away? Kube trying to run away. Four members of Samsung yeah, in the Fury mid lane. Here control comes over that. The fifth dragon fight. And Kube goes, goes all the way around. And there we go. They know he's coming in. They stop him they, early. They take oh, no damage from the Onslaught no. of Shadows. That's probably going to be the end of this as Samsung messes up their engage as the Ku Tigers kite out. Eve is down and so is Wraith. Now Prey going to flash forward or Valk forward then flash out. Fury on the side, but he's got a rumble and a Gragas all over him. Double kill. That is four for one Kube, in favor of Ku. Kube fought that fought that team fight so badly. Yes, if you, mi if you miss your Onslaught of Shadows, why not still stay in there? You have a Guardian Angel, let your team get in there and do the damage. And right. Kuro is just gonna drop all the damage on the structure. I mean, Ku, they saw it coming, they played it properly that time. Remember I said earlier, if he TPs behind the pit, you just go down river. Exactly what happens, they isolate him, but Kube can't provide any damage, any threat onto that back line. Partially because of Prey's uh, Banshee's Veil, but also just because he was slowed down nearly instantly by Smep. Yeah. And that's going to be a one game for the Ku Tigers. As they come back via threatening that dragon and some nice team fighting late.